Good morning, everyone. I'm Leslie Earhart, a public information officer for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Before we get started, I want to stress that the investigation into the disappearance of Summer Wells is very much active and ongoing. Please understand, in order to preserve the integrity of the investigation, we simply can't speak to specifics. We appreciate you being here today and your continuing coverage of this case. At approximately 6.30 p.m. on this day, one year ago, Summer Wells, who was five years old at the time, was reported missing from her home on Ben Hill Road in the Beach Creek community of Hawkins County. When we held the first media briefing on June 16th, honestly, we expected to have good news to report by the time the next media briefing came around. Unfortunately, instead, day after day ended in frustration and disappointment. At that time, no one expected that we would still be searching for Summer one year later. We've said from the beginning that this case is outside the norm. There are few clues as to what happened to Summer despite investigators doing everything within their power to find answers. All possibilities are still being explored. Many of you have asked for details about what's been done over the last year. I can tell you agents and detectives have spent thousands of hours on this case. Numerous search warrants have been executed, cell phone data has been analyzed, and any other available digital evidence has been collected, searched, and documented. This includes the social media accounts of those associated with Summer. Three large ground searches have taken place in the last year with the assistance of more than 100 local, state, and federal agencies. Those searches do not account for the numerous targeted searches done by agents and detectives as they were following up on potential leads. From TBI alone, more than 100 agents, intelligence analysts, and support staff from across the state have been involved in this case. TBI agents working alongside the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office and the FBI have conducted nearly 170 interviews during the investigation. That does not count the hundreds of phone calls made to follow, on, follow up on tips reported to law enforcement. While investigators have been diligently working to find answers, they've had to deal with thousands of tips generated by false information that in some cases has been intentionally spread across social media platforms. We know that this case has attracted the attention of individuals across the country who genuinely care about Summer and want nothing more but to help us find answers. We appreciate those people. However, we are also aware that there are some people using this case for their own personal gain by spreading false information on social media posts as facts. Some go as far as to solicit donations. This has had a major impact on the investigation and not in a good way. Moving forward, we ask the public not to submit tips as a result of a video they viewed on YouTube or a theory they've seen posted on Facebook. Please help us and only call if you have direct, specific information about the disappearance of Summer. This investigation weighs heavily on us all, and I can promise you that no one wants answers more than we do, and we are not going to stop until we find them. I'm going to turn it over to Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. Good morning. As Leslie mentioned, we didn't expect this case to be going on a year later. It's heartbreaking to me and my officers and the entire community. We've never stopped looking for Summer. We'll continue to do so. There's never been a case in the history of Hawkins County Sheriff's Office that had officers working 365 days and had so many hours spent as we had in this investigation. Also, this office has never utilized so many different local, state, and federal agencies from across the state. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and the Federal Bureau of Investigation assist us in every step of this investigation. As you heard Leslie say, thousands of hours have been invested in finding Summer, thousands of them, 170 interviews have been done. Many of these individuals have spoken to more than one time. Well, we haven't said a lot about the details about the investigative actions that's taken place, please know that we've never stopped. 
I deeply appreciate the many rescue squads, the MAs, and the volunteer fire department for their help. And the support of the citizens and the communities of this county is just unbelievable and overwhelming with the encouragement we get with the food during the searches we've done and all the law enforcement officers and agencies throughout the state of Tennessee. It's just been phenomenal how everybody pitched in and helped us with these searches and with this investigation. And many of you have asked why that uh, we didn't recruit private citizens to assist in these searches. <clears throat> with the extreme dangerous terrain that we were experiencing in searches, we were able to monitor each group and movement in their location. That way we knew that everybody came back to the command post safely. After the initial searches, then we had to go back and obtain the landowner's permission to search again. We could not allow or even grant permission for private individuals on these people's property. And while I can promise you that we will continue to conduct target searches in the Beach Creek area as new information is developed. We'll also continue to follow up on any legitimate leads. And it's been the goal of this team since day one to find summer. We've never stopped, we've never slowed down, we deal with it every day. And that's the whole purpose of this, to let you all know, despite what you hear, what you see, we haven't stopped. The men and women of these agencies have worked tireless, hours and hours and hours. And I commend every one of them for the job they've done, and we're going to continue till we find summer. Now, as I mentioned, we can't speak to specifics, but we will take a few questions. Um, a few months ago, you guys said that the parents were not cooperating anymore. Has there been any changes? We're not going to characterize cooperation at this time. Honestly, doing so does nothing but create more speculation, and it doesn't benefit the investigation. But thank you for asking. Is there still a reward being offered? Well, I can tell you that um, law enforcement did not coordinate that reward, so you would need to reach out to the Churchill Rescue Squad for information in that aspect. Are the boys still in that's not something we can speak to. We do have this last year you guys push out some information about the red sun. I know that this is not going to be a few weeks to talk about with you guys. Is that something you're looking for? Do you still think we should make this over that? I'm going to call on TBI Special Agent in charge, Derek Newport, just to talk about that and where that stands. I, I will tell you yes, just to eliminate. Uh, we still don't have a good timeline of when that was observed. Uh, people at frequent areas on a regular basis get their date can get days mixed up. Uh, we still want to figure out who, if possible, and if that's even a, a legitimate lead. You know, so we, as she said earlier, we followed a lot of dead leads that didn't, that didn't produce anything. So that obviously is still something we want to put to bed, but it's not. Uh, we still don't, we can't pinpoint a date and an exact location of that truck. Anybody else? When this first came out, you guys said that someone was last seen walking away from the home. Um, that was like one of the initial reports that night of, and then things kind of changed the following day. Is there any evidence that she walked away from home, or any evidence of any sort of reduction, or do you have any evidence of any, anything like that? We don't have anything specific, and, and I think what what's important to note there is is that the sheriff mentioned that how many hours we've put into this investigation and how much time has been spent uh, exploring every possibility, walk off, abduction, other foul means, and I think that's the thing to keep in mind is is it's still a, really wide open as to the what uh, we try to stay away from developing theories and just follow facts. No specific plan. However, uh, if we get a speci get specific information about a specific location, building, what have you, 
uh, we would coordinate with each other to, to, to go take a look at that location. What made it hard back in the summer is obviously the foliage. That's why you saw the two searches that were when, when, the, when the leaves were on the ground so that we could use air assets and that you could actually see more of what's on the ground at the time. Uh, people say, well, leaves to cover things up. Well, if you get moving things around enough, you'll find, you'll see what you're looking for. In the past, you said that there's no evidence that there was an abduction. Is that still stands? It still stands. It still stands. Does the fact point towards one theory more than another? No, they do not. Not this point. Okay. Well, thank you guys for being here. I just want to point out one more thing. This case is not cold. We get asked that a lot. It's not. We're talking to the sheriff constantly. We all work together as one team, and we're determined to find answers. Thank you for coming.